Gusti and Carlino playing the little cat and mouse game. Clock working its way down toward 10. Hawes guarded by Holt. Tyler Hawes! 2.5 on the clock. Della Vadova for the win! Gales win it! The officials are sending them back to the other side of the floor. Matthew Della Vadova drills it. 70 69. They'll take one more look. <laughs> I have no doubts. Un unbelievable action there. Tyler Hawes with the tough runner off of one foot on one end. And then the beautiful outlet. He gets a running start at it. Gets it off in plenty of time. Point nine on the clock. No doubt that it's good. Matthew Della Vadova was left off the wooden watch list. He's a top 25 player in the country. Maybe a first team All-American. The best winner that Randy Bennett has had in his history as a St. Mary's coach. But the difference there, they get the outlet past 30 feet down the court with two and a half seconds left. That allowed Del Vadova, <laughs> that allowed Del Vadova to get a running start at the basket and get a very clean look. The second team in the history of the Dave Rose era to come into the Marriott Center and defeat BYU in back-to-back -back seasons. Randy Bennett, St. Mary's Gales, joins Steve Alford's New Mexico Lobos. The two you put in the one-on-one -on -one miles delivered throughout the night. No two shots bigger than the last two by Hawes and Della Madova. Two fantastic players, two excellent teams. They run the ISO to Hawes as they did the possession before. Holt wanted the double team, no one comes. Hawes makes the beautiful floater across the lane, nothing but net. But Della Vadova, his head's up. Look, he clapped for that basketball. He knows there was no timeouts for St. Mary's to be called. Didn't get down about the basket being scored and his team losing. Just a heads up, smart play by Matthew Della Vadova, and then a heck of a shot off of one foot to win the basketball game for St. Mary's. The legend of Matthew Della Vadova grows here tonight in Provo.